CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. A good evening. Development in the coronavirus changing by the minute this Thursday. The facts as we know them. We have a team of reporters getting answers, starting with CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov. Dana. Good evening, Brad. The governor's daily briefing, along with uh, the mayor of Chicago, Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, still going on, as you can see behind me. It's been going on now for about an hour. Right now, people are asking many questions because, of course, there's always going to be more and more questions every single day. But some significant steps because of COVID-19, including mandates from the governor and mayor issued today. Uh, officials saying even though there is a low level of community transmission of this virus so far in this area, this is not the time to take chances. Again, as expected, there are new cases, seven new cases in our area to be exact, including a child in Chicago. There are also a, is also a new case in McHenry and also in Kane counties. Chicago public schools, though, will stay open. The situation, though, continuing to be evaluated as needed. Uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, though, saying there is a plan in place if uh, short-term closure is is needed because a case is found in a school. And the governor and the mayor both banning all events and gatherings that would involve 1,000 or more people. I do not want to waste precious resources monitoring event cancellations, so I'm appealing to the civic, patriotic, and humanitarian character of the residents of Illinois to act on this guidance immediately without any need for official state action. We have to continue practicing social distancing. And if you do not feel well, for God's sake, stay home. I've been told I have to stop talking right now so this can continue, uh, but of course more information coming and we at CBS2 will continue to bring you that information about the COVID-19 virus as we get it. For now, reporting live at the Thompson Center, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News, Brad. Dana in a hushed tone as that press conference continues. Dana, good work, thank you. As Dana mentioned, while Chicago schools have not made a decision to close schools, the list of schools that are closing and moving to e-learning is growing by the minute. We know. All Winnetka public schools are closed until further notice. Students will be e-learning starting Monday. New Trier High School is also canceling classes tomorrow with remote learning beginning Monday. Bernard's L Day School in Lakeview will stay closed at least until March 23rd. Two parents and their child tested positive there for the virus. Meantime, classes will resume tomorrow in Hinsdale. Hinsdale South and Central High School were closed after a student was possibly exposed to the virus, that student's test came back negative. Now here's to another list. Universities are opting to move to online learning. Beginning tomorrow, all in-person classes at Loyola are suspended. The university hopes to have them online by March 23rd. At the University of Chicago, the entire spring quarter will be online starting March 30th. Dorms close March 31st. DePaul says when it's possible, classes will be given remotely. Students are being told not to return to the dorms after spring break. Northwestern is extending spring break a week. When classes resume there April 4th, they'll be remotely. You can find closings, rather could, we're trying to get that up, scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It is right now. We also have that online.